And in today's video, I'm going to show you the best competitive settings for Fortnite in Chapter 2 Season 7. I'm literally going to cover everything. The best Fortnite in-game settings, the best colorblind mode, the best retro resolution for competitive players, the best retro resolution for people on low-end PCs or laptops, how to reduce your input delay, how to get double movement, all the competitive advantages, guys. This video is going to be wild. And just to celebrate the start of this new crazy season, guys, I'm going to give away two battle passes under this video. I'm going to put all the infos about how to enter this giveaway in the video description, so just make sure to check it out. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and now let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, now I'm also going to show you the best Fortnite competitive settings and also afterwards how to play a stretch resolution. Obviously when it comes down to a resolution, it's all like personal preference because some people don't like a stretch resolution, so I'm just going to show it afterwards. But one thing which I can tell you straight up is for the graphic settings, try to end up with the colorblind strength set to 5 is definitely the best colorblind setting out there guys. This is going to give you such a competitive advantage. I also did already like two videos showing and proving why this is literally the best colorblind out there. So just make sure to copy these settings here one by one. And as we move over to the graphics quality, as you can see I got pretty much everything here on the lowest possible. The only thing which I keep on medium is my viewing distance, you know, for the competitive advantage. If you obviously want to go for maximum performance, put this on near and the meshes on high because I can't really handle mobile builds because I'm playing, as you can see right now here, on the performance alpha mode. It just gives you the most amount of FPS and the lowest input delay and other than that just try to copy like all of my settings here as you can see and yeah then we're pretty much done here with the video settings tab and yeah guys under the next section game language and region please make sure to put your region on exactly the current region you're on don't put it on auto this has a really simple background um, if you put it on auto Fortnite might maybe connect you to a server which is a little bit further away from you but more stable and you obviously don't want that because the more further away the server is the higher your ping is going to be so just please make sure to select exactly the region you're on and other than that the only thing I only disabled other replays because they're gonna put a huge workload onto your PC which is going to cost you some very important FPS and just put additional input delay which you obviously don't want so if you don't it's necessarily for playing like some scrims or I don't know you want to record maybe a video please make sure to turn this off and yeah guys if you've done all of these steps you finally applied the best Fortnite competitive settings and now we're gonna move over on how to apply a stretch resolution how to get double movement and how to reduce your input delay with an extra program so stay tuned for this next step I would like to talk about a stretch resolution guys because everyone knows stretch resolutions can help you so so much with improving your aim gaining more FPS reducing input delay and all these benefits guys it's actually crazy and as you guys know I already got plenty of videos on my channel showing the best stretch resolution for low-end PCs for laptop players or just simply the best competitive stretch resolution but for the sake of the video I'm going to show you right now how you can apply in my opinion the best competitive stretch resolution which would be 1750 times 1080 which is also highly used among the best pro players right now and just if you guys are interested I'm also going to leave two links in the description as well now for the best stretch resolution for low-end PC players and laptop players and you yeah, guys as mentioned I'm also going to show you right now here how to apply stretch resolution onto Fortnite. All you guys need to do is head over into a window search bar and tap in presenter, temp presenter until you find this first folder here. And once we're in there, just simply click on local so we get like one bag. Um, click inside this folder, press F on your keyboard until you find Fortnite game, go into saved, config, Windows client, and there you already see your game user settings. Just a real quick tip um, before, if you already applied anything into your Fortnite, just make sure that the attribute read only is unchecked. Um, once we're done with that, just simply right click onto your game user settings and open them up until you see like here this notepad and once we're in here just simply click edit, press find, uh, tap in probably like 1080 because you're obviously on like stock resolution or like native resolution you know if you never changed anything here which would be 1920 times 1080 and as you can see we got two resolution sizes here. The normal resolution size X and Y and last user confirmed resolution size X and Y. And all you guys need to do right now here is change it to 1750 times 1080 because this is in my opinion the best competitive resolution right now which is also highly used among the best pro players. And yeah just simply change it to the X size. Um, the Y size you can just simply leave because it's like 1080 you know. And once we're done with that just make sure you change it for both of these. Uh, and then afterwards just simply click on file click into save and you can close this notepad here And yeah guys after we successfully applied our new stretch resolution Just make sure to right click onto your game user settings and go into properties until you see the attribute read only Just make sure to put the check in here press apply press ok and you successfully applied the stretch resolution For this next topic I just want to talk about something I know a lot of people do underestimate when it comes down to gaming And that is finding the right mousepad guys trust me this is so important Actually it's not only finding the right mousepad but also the right mouse glide 
sides because all this works together. Trust me guys, you can tweak as many in-game settings or Windows settings, reduce your input delay whatsoever, but if you're not comfortable with the mousepad you're using right now, you're not gonna perform well. Therefore guys, I would just simply recommend you to check out the two links in the description. I already reviewed two of the best mousepads here in my opinion. One of them is for people with a low DPI, which is like a speed pad and a really slow control pad for people with like high DPI or a high sense in general. Now let's continue with the next step. There are of course also tons of programs guys which can help you as well and give you a competitive advantage. I'm talking about timer set resolution which reduces your stock windows delay by 50% guys which is just crazy to think about and we also got tons of double movement softwares right now there like keys to X import or booting. In my opinion I prefer keys to X import but it all comes down to personal preference but for the sake of the video I'm also going to show you how to install timer set resolution and how to get double movement in Fortnite chapter 2 season 7. Let's go. So guys and now I'm going to show you how you can get your hands on double movement and timer set resolution to reduce your input delay to only 0.5 milliseconds which is really crazy guys and yeah all you need to do is just simply click on the first link in description or somewhere there in the info box I don't actually know where to put it um, until you find key stacks input and then you see exactly like these two files here which are um, ones here for virtual gamepad emulation um, this is like just gonna install like a virtual controller onto your PC, nothing too crazy guys, just go through it. I uh, obviously don't need to do it because I already have done it. And the other file is here called keys to x import 1.03 uh, which is like the latest version and then you only drag this exit data here onto your desktop. Um, I already have it here so therefore I don't need to do it. Then you just simply launch it and you can already see keys to x input enabled. Um, we got all the keys where you can put it basically H, D, V and S, like the normal movement keys obviously. And then we can put the strafe angle, diagonal up, diagonal down. Um, this all comes down to personal preference, guys, but in my opinion, those are the best competitive settings here for key stacks input. And yeah, just make sure to leave this program open in the background. And if you can't move in-game, I know for a fact that tons of people had this issue, uh, just make sure to launch this actually as an administrator and it should be fine. Then next up we're gonna um, start here with timer set resolution which is going to reduce your stock input delay. As you can see our current resolution is 1 millisecond and if we press maximum we reduced our normal Windows input delay to 0.5 milliseconds. And yeah, for some people this might work instantly like stock, they never have to change anything. But for if for you is written here like 0.499 it is indeed not running right correctly. So all you guys need to do then is um, go here into this notepad, which I'm probably also going to put there or just write the comments down um, in the info box, you know. Um, all you need to do then is go into a Windows search bar, type in CMD until you find comment prompt, right click, run it as an administrator, and then you see like this new window here um, popping up. And all you guys need to do now is copy both of these comments, put them in there, press enter, and you can already see all the set, oh my God, Jesus. Um, Okay, now, <laughs> yeah, just put them both in there, um, apply them, as you can see the operation completed successfully, you applied both of them, um, then you can close both of these windows here and just simply run timer set resolution. Some people also need to run it as an administrator, which is not necessarily for me, um, it's only like, I don't know, if your parents have like the full control over your PC, I guess. Uh, and then just only hit maximum and as you can see right now we are on 0 0.5 milliseconds input delay which is gonna make a huge difference on Fortnite guys trust me even though if you're like on 60 hertz 75 hertz you will still definitely notice this it's gonna make the whole game and editing and everything so much smoother and yeah just make sure to run both of these programs here always in the background so just like minimize them uh, launch your Fortnite you cannot get banned for that guys it is confirmed 100% double movement is allowed and timer set resolution even, even TFU used it back in the days during World Cup qualifier times and Epic Games did nothing, so this is 100% trusted. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and if it was helpful, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome, I'm out. Peace. Up in the beamer, watch us ride. I've been fucking up lately.